Hi, my name is Tal, a sales application engineer at Munters. In this video, we'll be talking about a few ventilation issues associated with precision mode controllers that can affect your farm's operations. The examples will be taken out of platinum controllers, but can be applied to AC2000 and P-Guard SuperGuard. So let's get started. The air temperature dropped below target temperature. So why didn't ventilation levels drop as well? In theory, as the temperatures drop, the ventilation levels should go down as well. If it didn't, then you're probably at your minimum ventilation level. For a quick view of the minimum level, press the number 3 button on your main screen. This hotkey will show you the minimum and maximum levels. To reduce the minimum, press the menu button and go to control menu. In control, select min-max levels, scroll to the appropriate day and simply change the minimum. Remember, the minimum is important for fresh air movement in the house and should be reduced responsibly. A second possibility, not likely but it can happen, is that the fan switches are turned off. Platinum won't go to a level with no air capacity. Next we'll be talking about the opposite situation. Precision temperature is higher than target but there is no increase in levels. The air temperature is higher than target temperature, so why didn't the ventilation levels increase accordingly? There can be a few reasons for this phenomenon. The first and most common reason is that you're at your maximum level. To increase the maximum, press the menu button and go to control menu. In control, select min max levels and scroll to the appropriate day. Now simply change the maximum. Another reason is the wind chill differential. Remember that if you have a differential defined in the next level, this means that the controller would only increase a level when the temperature goes above target or tunnel plus differential. In that case, press menu and select device. Then select levels of ventilation and scroll to the level in question. Now simply load the differential. A third possible reason is that the controller is at its final power ventilation and cannot yet go into tunnel mode because the temperature is not high enough. Press the number 3 button on your main screen to view the tunnel entry temperature. Navigate the temperature curve if you require lowering the tunnel entry temperature. One other possibility, not likely but it can happen, is that the fan switches are turned off at the ventilation level you want. Platinum will never go to a level with no air capacity. Let's move to the issues related to tunnel mode. In tunnel mode, there is a wind chill effect on the birds. This means that the birds feel cooler than actual temperature. Very similar to a person standing in front of a fan. The temperature between the person and the fan would be the same, even if the fan was not there. But still the person would feel cooler. This is wind chill effect. In order to compensate this effect, we have a parameter called wind chill differential, which is located in the levels of ventilation table. So navigate to device, and then levels of ventilation, and scroll to the tunnel levels. Here you can see that all the differentials are set to zero, which means that the levels would continue to rise even though the birds are getting cooler. If you set a one degree differential in this level, this means that the controller would only increase to this level at tunnel temperature plus one degree. For example, if the controller shows 28 degrees, the birds feel 27 degrees. Please note, the wind chill effect is very hard to determine automatically and that is why we leave this parameter to the grower to watch the birds and figure out what works best in your climate. If the birds get too hot, reduce the differential and if the birds get too cold, increase the differential. After a while the values will be correct for the duration of the flock. There may need to be fine tuning between winter and summer. Ventilation swings between two levels. As growers, our aim is to maintain a very stable climate in the house and to find a level that is suitable for the day and maintain that level for as much time as possible. 
History data is a very good tool to monitor and see that we are indeed running very smoothly and not bouncing between levels. Select History menu and then History view. Now scroll to the right and you will see a column for the levels data. For more accurate readings, you can go to Installation and then Setup and change the history resolution to 15 minutes. If you see that the controller is moving between two levels too often, this means that the increase in capacity between these two levels is too great, meaning that the lower level is too warm and that the higher level is too cold. There is a very simple fix for this problem. Simply add one level in between these two levels. You can use the capacity column to calculate the middle ground. The capacity column is calculated by the fan air capacity table and the fans and cycle you set for each level. So select device and then levels of ventilation. And now scroll down to the two levels in question. Calculate something between whether it is different cycle or different amount of fans and set that in. By definition, a precision controller drops to the minimum level immediately when the heaters start. This means that if the controller, for example, is at level 10 and the minimum level is 3, as soon as the heaters kick in, the levels would immediately drop to 3. This was designed in order to save energy and prevent heaters running with excess ventilation. This mostly happens when you set a heater temperature very close to the target temperature. In order to avoid that, simply select Control Menu and then Temperature Curve. Now set the heating temperature a little bit away from the target. This will enable the controller to slowly reduce the levels in order to reach the desired target without activating the heaters. In general, when the birds are young, we recommend that the heat temperature will be very close or even identical to the target. And as the birds grow older, gradually increase the gap between target and heat points. Usually when there is an alarm, high temperature for example, the alarm will stop once the temperature lowers back to normal values. This is not the case with high pressure, which usually indicates an ongoing problem in the house, such as an inlet that would not open or a fan that does not stop. This means that this high pressure occurrence will appear over and over again when reaching a certain ventilation level. In order to make sure that this problem is noticed by the grower, the controller will not stop this alarm until it is manually reset. In order to reset the alarm, go to Management menu and then Alarm Reset and simply reset the alarm. After that you must check all your equipment and make sure that everything is working properly. Most likely you will find something is wrong. Okay, that's it for now. Be sure to log into our website and check out more videos.